When buying a car, depending on the customer, it can take from hours to months. Sometimes business owners come in here knowing exactly what they need to conduct their business. Typical truck, quality purchase for them would be a four-wheel drive, crew cab, has the right equipment for them to conduct their business. Whereas a personal vehicle for a family can take months of research. They may change their mind half a dozen times during their search for a new car. Come in, find the vehicle that you're looking for, negotiate your price, get your financing arranged, and take advantage of all the opportunities with rebates, and it can be done in a matter of hours. The things that affect the car business, you know, they, there's really a lot of different things. That's including oil prices, gas prices, uh, just your local economy and state economy. The vehicle most people come here for is probably the Silverado. Chevrolet Silverado. The Silverado Crew Cab. Pickup truck. SUVs, uh, Equinoxes and the uh, Traverses are real popular cars. One of the benefits of trading in a vehicle is you know that the dealer is going to be able to uh, give you money for your vehicle uh, versus selling it outright. Uh, a lot of people go out there and they want to try to sell their vehicle themselves and they do that because they would like to try to get a little bit more money than what the dealer is going to offer them. However, the problems that you can run into in selling it yourself, a lot of people will advertise on Craigslist and there's a lot of Craigslist scams out there. Uh, I can tell you myself, I recently tried to sell a vehicle on Craigslist and I had a couple of different phone calls that were people were trying to scam me out of my vehicle. And so you have to be really careful there. So trading it into a dealer, you know that it's going to be safe. You know the dealer is going to pay you your money, give you your uh, equity on your trade. And uh, they will uh, normally will, will try to offer you a, a good value for your trade because they, uh, they want your business. They want you to buy a new car from them. And uh, they also have a used car lot that they sell cars from. So uh, I think trading it into a dealer is probably the safest uh, bet for most people. Some of the steps to buying a car are obviously you've got to select the type of car you're looking for. Determine car, truck, van, SUV. Spend some time researching that car, making sure you're buying the one that fits your needs the best in terms of size, mileage, price. And then find the actual car, test drive it, get the experience behind the wheel, make sure it fits those needs in reality. And then over the course of the next few hours, negotiate your process and your deal with your salesperson arrange for financing, and you can be on the road. The best piece of advice I can give anyone for buying a car is get your credit in line. Keep your credit clean, keep everything current, because the difference between you getting an A-tier customer and a D-tier customer can mean someone's payment on a $20,000 vehicle could go up $100 because of interest charges. Banks look at you as a risk, and if you are a good risk, you get a lower interest rate. But if you're at high risk with bad credit, you get a higher interest rate because the potential for them to lose money is higher on that higher risk consumer. So take care of that credit.